We are a group from the um, Department of Computer Science here at ETH, and um, this was a group with uh, uh, Lawrence Meyer, Peter Tanskanen, uh, Karin Kolev, and uh, myself, who have worked on um, this um, uh, transforming smartphones into uh, 3D scanners. Um, so for this, we have developed software that will take um, just grab pictures with the phone and then turn multiple of those pictures taken from different viewpoints into a three-dimensional model, a three-dimensional surface representation of the object that you would have taken pictures of. And the big advantage of our technology is that you can do it live immediately. Everybody has always a scanner in his pocket essentially, which currently would require very expensive uh, devices to, to be brought in to do the scanning. And obviously, for example, for an accident, if you can do it right away, you know, everybody can do it right away on site, you don't need to bring in, it can make things a lot faster, uh, which is often important in these type of uh, situations to be able to very quickly be able to get a, an assessment of the situation. One of the applications that um, a lot of people are excited about is uh, in the area of archaeology. The access to the archaeological objects is very limited. And so with our technology, people can, can anywhere on site very quickly capture three-dimensional representations of the archaeological artifacts that maybe later might disappear in storage uh, or be locked up in a museum. They can bring them home, they can study them at home, they can maybe even print them in 3D and, and study them in detail then and have them in their hands, uh, copies of those objects uh, with, with what we uh, are doing. But of course, when you want to capture a model, you'd like to know how big it is. In our case, because we have additional sensors on the phone, which we directly take into the process, uh, like accelerometers, they allow us to actually get the absolute scale of objects, and that's a key advantage of our technique.